Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Let me introduce our team. We are from RTS Negeri 3 Pamekasan, Indonesia. My name is Isnata Putru Fisiuni, as the leader of my team and my friend. In this wonderful kids, we will present our research and title Eco-Friendly Animal Straw from from Kudu Leaves Big Crown One of the contributors to plastic weeds is straws. Its use is very much because Almost in every restaurant there is. It is recorded that plastic straw waste can reach 9.9 million tons per year. Of course, this problem must be solved by making edible straw from mangudu leaves. This mangudu leaves was chosen because it is widely available in Indonesia and contain high antioxidant activity so it is good for warding of free radicals. We should cross through extract mokudu leaves by sneaking the leaves in the water using the blender in a ratio of 1 to 5 then filter and the extract was taken and then weight 7.5 gram of tapioca flour, 7.5 gram of wheat flour, and 2 gram of rice flour. Stir well in the container and then add 3, 6, and 9 milliliters of good leaves extract. Add 7, 4, and 1 milliliter of water. Mix well until the dough is perfect and then shape using bamboos that has been coated by aluminum foil resembling a straw and then bake for 25 minutes at 150 uh, degrees Celsius and then the last is remove the mold from the straw and the straw is ready to use. Result and discussion. The colors of the edible straw is light green. The higher the concentration of the extract, the darker the color of the edible straw. The aroma of the edible straw is the aroma of mukuru leaves extract. The higher the concentration of the extract, the stronger the aroma. The taste of the edible straw is bland and has a slight bitter, bitter taste. The higher the concentration of mukuru leaves extract, the stronger the bitter taste. In the future, sweeteners such as sorbitol can be added to neutralize the bitter taste. The edible straw is made large size. This meat was chosen so that it can easily adjust to the drink. Drink that contain large particles will be allowed to enter the straw without problem. After drinking, the straw can be eaten immediately. The taste of the straw will better blend with the taste of the drink, so, the, so there will be additional taste. That why the edible straw from Kudu is made tasteless and not flavor with food. Conclusion: The edible straw of Kudu leaves has potential be to be the solution to reduce the use of plastic straw. The characteristic of the edible straw are its light green color and aroma of good extract, and then the taste is blend with a bit of bitterness. Application is easy. It uh, it's like size that can fit a variety of drink.